How are you? So today I am going to introduce a very new and unique project that is potato disease prediction project. It is a machine learning project with the use of and help of machine learning algorithm, especially deep learning algorithm. Let's see how this project has been made and how this project is useful for everyone, especially in farming sector. This is a potato as we know. So I'm uh, going through like I'm telling through very basic things so that easily can be understood by everyone. Say this is the leaves of potato. See, you must have thinking how potato grow. First, in this potato, we get usually two types of disease. We will going to uh, like read about that in later PPT slides. So first, understand that this potato usually grow inside the soil. It usually grow inside the farmland, and leaves are grown outside of the farmland. Due to use of very different types of fungus, bacteria, virus, even like use of very fertilizer, herbicides, and different pesticide, different disease usually used to get to the crops and different farmland. So we have to stop this. So, but due to uh, due to all this, first we have to analyze that how we are getting this disease, and if we are getting, then how to predict that. Through uh, like we are engineers through machine learning through different types of machine computer science domain. So if we will analyze and if we will uh, like predict in early stages, so farmer can stop their economic loss. Okay, and he can use different types of medicine and chemicals for their crops and stop and stop this disease. So let's go through this project. See, leaf detection is a field of study under the image recognition field of computer vision. This is the major project, means you can even use this as a minor if you want, but this is the like project you can use for a one semester. In this project, detection of disease in leaves is another important milestone conserving not just biodiversity but also saving crops from disease spread. Machine learning is applied, especially deep learning ones. See, in our India, okay. So farmer who grows potato are facing a lot of economic losses every year because of waste disease that can happen to potato plant. There are commonly two types of disease, which is first is early blight, second is late blight. Okay. Now how this caused? See, it is caused by the fungus, usually the early blight, and the late blight is caused by the specific microorganism. Treatment for early blight and late blight are different. So it is important that you accurately identify what kind of disease is there in the potato plant. See, India, we know that agriculture is the main source of income. Diseases affect plant constitute 10 to 30 percent of total crop loss. So there is a strong motivation for introducing a system which can quickly and easily train to work with different light weights, different angles to identify this type of disease. See, what we have used data set from basically we have a plant based data set that is available on kaggle the image used in the data set are from switzerland region we do not have dc potato uh, data set of a potato leaf from india region but we have a data set from a pakistan region as india and pakistan share alike geographical conditions so there will be the maximum similarity between the leaves of potato from india region and pakistan region so first we will train and test our, our model on plant real data set then we will test our real accuracy on Pakistan data set. See before India got independence in 1947 Pakistan and India was only one part. It was, Pakistan was a part of India. So our land, our geographical condition are same. Data set I have told you about this. See, this is are the sample uh, images. This is the early blood and this is the late blood. This is the healthy leaves of, leaves of potato. See, in this we have used conver convolutional neural network CNN algorithm. See, you just uh, need uh, like simple. You can even use this project on Google Colab. Uh, Jupyter Notebook, Anaconda, Visual Studio, uh, Notebook. Okay, you just need like uh, simple computer uh, software and hardware. Hardware. We don't need some like hi-fi computer. It can work it anyway. Okay. So, see, this project is nice. You can use this for your semester project. Thank you.
so if you want the project data set ppt document research paper synapses and if you want any help on computer science projects even if you want live explanation of code how it work how to implement even if you want like help on research paper writing publishing you can contact me mail me at this mail id i will happily happily help you okay so let's meet soon thank you